Uh, well, this morning I was thinking about that scripture <clears throat> where uh, I'm thinking of the Passion Translation where God weaves together everything. Yeah, that's Romans 8. Um, according to his plan and our destiny. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, translated in uh, Americans to American, you know, slang to uh, God works everything for your good, brother. Yeah, that's like the King James. <clears throat> and so I was thinking about that in the context of sonship in the context of being a child of God. And the fact that m the majority of people consider their sonship or I'm a child of God simply because they've had a salvation experience. Mm -hmm. But the Bible really defines that differently. Yeah, and, it does. and Jesus said that his family, his, his people are the ones who obey his commands. So I was just thinking about the fact that those mm -hmm. scriptures are qualified. Yes, they are. That's not just a throwing out the candy on the the trailer at the float, you know, everybody gets some, everybody gets some, or like Oprah, it's you, you get a car and you get a car and uh -huh. you get to be a son and you get to be a son. It actually is that we have to be willing to obey his commands. We have to participate in the kingdom according to his uh, standards. Yeah. Yeah. We, we really gotten that message about salvation from, you know, really the past, I don't know, two or 300 years, maybe mm -hmm. less than that where people start to throw out the f phrase, have you been saved? Yes. And which in, kind of gives it a feeling of, oh, you mean I can do something and be saved? Which really, didn't the, the disciples call it being baptized into something? Like, have you been baptized? And, um, you know, the ones where, where Paul found them, they're like, baptized into Jesus, like the whole, oh, this, we this only, Holy Spirit. They said we yeah, only John's knew baptism. John's That's baptism. That's what I'm thinking of. Yes, and uh, of course, Roman does say with the with the uh, heart you believe, and with the mouth you confess yes. unto salvation. But uh, there's no mention in the New Testament of a, you know, praying this prayer to be saved, uh -huh. because that's in America and modern church. Mm -hmm. That's how you do it. But in the Bible, that's not how it is. Um, uh, salvation has a goal. To make you a son. Uh, yeah. It is not to go to heaven. So that's mm -hmm. not the goal of salvation. No. Because there's going to be people who never go to heaven. Mm -hmm. they, they're going to be, Paul said, those who are alive and remain on this yeah. earth. And so uh, when G, the second return of Christ. So heaven and living forever in heaven is not the goal of salvation, nor is it going to happen to everyone. Mm -hmm. uh, nor do you have to die because uh, for any reason. I mean, yeah. God, Jesus has obliterated, obliterated death and all its effects. And so uh, the goal of salvation is not just to go to heaven. Several things happen in salvation, but it is a working towards a goal of the transfiguration of your mm -hmm. life yeah. to, and growing into this mature stature of his fullness. Jesus became who we are so that we become who, we, who he is. Yes. That's um, so good. So, and that is salvation. And, mm -hmm. the, and we're, I'm going to teach on that a little bit today. I don't know how far I'll get with it, but the goal of salvation doesn't even stop with the maturity of the believer. Say, I mean, you probably don't know anyone that's walking in the footsteps of Jesus every moment of every day. Mm -hmm. I, I personally don't. Mm -hmm. I know some people that are close. Yeah. And we have, we, and we do it in moments and at times. Mm -hmm. uh, but we're, we're working steadier and steadier to this goal. In fact, I don't have any personal friends who believe this is possible. Um, I had to get rid of all my close friends and go find new ones <laughs> because they kept correcting me. And I'm like, bye, because I can't afford to have your unbelief in my life. Yeah. And, um, but the goal of, or the completion, Paul uses this word, the completion of our salvation. Can you guess? I'll give you a smarty if I had one. The, the completion, completion of our salvation is our glorified body. That's right. Um, I'll be your friend, I believe. <laughs> so Paul, even looking so far as to uh, the 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 the, um, the you know the receiving of yeah. his glorified body, which the Bible says is fashioned just like Jesus's. Mm -hmm. So I mean, we're going all the way in this uh, in this you know we have been um, predestined. The Bible says from before the foundation of the world. This is always God's mm -hmm. plan to be conformed into his likeness, even in his immortal body. Mm. Man, this is like so much better than we even know or believe. And what's coming in the future, the, the, the men and women of God, they're going to be walking this earth and the kids. Are, it's going gonna, it's gonna to make what we do now look like everybody's dead. I wonder what would it's, happen 
sorry, if people <laughs> stopped just planning for their exit from the earth, like, you know, like all, most Christians are just sort of yeah. obsessed with dying. That's, I mean, it's all and, worldly. And like started planning for that, for yeah. their eventual, the completion of their salvation. Yeah. That would be so cool. Well, let's plan for walking in, in his fullness. Yes. Because when we go out there, people freak out. Mm hmm they like people are weeping because of the hope that we bring. I had a woman yesterday. She said, uh, I feel it. She said, you have no idea the timing. Oh, she good. said, my sis, my daughter, and she's a, you know, her daughter's grown and she's got the, her, her granddaughter there. Mm -hmm. They just took her to St. Louis for cancer. Oh. And uh, she said, you have no, and she's weeping. And so, you know what I do? I start telling her testimonies yeah. and the hope that is hitting her, and she is just weeping and weeping and can't believe the words coming out of my mouth. Nobody can believe the words mm -hmm. coming out of my mouth. And and we commanded that thing to leave her daughter. And I'm and the, and a few doors down, I'm preaching to a whole section of people that just got out and are going into a house for a party. There's literally a yard full of people, <laughs> and I'm preaching like I'm in front of 10,000 yeah. or 100,000. <laughs> and you know what? They were captivated. Yeah. People are captivated by the, uh, the power of God. You know, we had somebody in here the other day who said, uh, well, you know, power is not everything. And I promise you that person is not walking in inner victory in their life hmm. because you cannot walk above sin and the carnal nature without power. Oh, Jesus, true. Jesus, when he left earth in Matthew 28, he didn't say, uh, wait in Jerusalem uh, till you feel a leading of my spirit. Don't, you know, wait in Jerusalem until you feel like you have enough character to go out and, and represent me. Mm -hmm. He said, wait for power because it, because it is the, the infilling of God's spirit with the manifestation of power that causes all things to work yeah. and, and behave as Jesus worked and behave. That, that's power's the problem because nobody's walking in it. Nobody's got it. Nobody's manifesting in it. So the next time somebody says to you, uh, well, you know, power, it's not all about power. Just say, you're a freaking liar. Bye. Because that person, I guarantee that person's doing nothing for God. I guarantee their character has flimsy. I guarantee that um, that they're up and they're like one of those roller coaster yeah. Christians. If you want to be strong, stable, and you want to walk with authority, you have got to yield your soul and your life to power. It is the Spirit of God. The Spirit of God is Lord, and He is Master. And when you yield to the Spirit of God inside of you and make Him Master, power, okay, what's power? It's authority and, and ability. it's miraculous ability. Which two of those do you not need as a Christian? I mean, people are so confused. That makes me upset if you can't tell. A little bit.